Some see light at the end of the tunnel. Jörn Teich sees his worst nightmare. After two years of professional help, he can finally walk through this underpass alone. But the panic attacks still haunt him. He and his daughter were almost crushed when a stampede broke out here five years ago. The silhouettes represent those who didn't make it. Even after all this time, it's hard to explain what that pressure felt like, like being caught in a trash compactor. Imagine human bodies squeezing you from all sides to the point you can't even move your head. All you could do was pray you'd make it out alive. July 24th, 2010. Hundreds of thousands of people flooded Duisburg to celebrate Love Parade, one of the world's biggest techno music festivals. But the crowd was far too large to handle. With pressure from all sides, things came to a standstill. Then panic broke out. 21 people were trampled to death, more than 500 injured. Five years later, those affected are still seeking damages. A Duisburg court has spent the past 18 months looking into complaints that accuse the city and festival organizers of involuntary manslaughter and bodily injury caused by negligence. Attorney Julius Reiter represents around 100 plaintiffs, but he fears the case won't bring closure. In his view, the lawsuit doesn't target the main culprits, like the former mayor. I worry that when all is said and done, there's going to be a lot of disappointed people. This lawsuit can't possibly deliver what many expect. Basically, what they want is an independent investigation into what really happened that day. Von dem, was wirklich passiert ist. For now, this memorial is one of the few places that offer a sense of comfort. Jörn Teich has also co-founded a support group meant to help those affected deal with the mental wounds inflicted by the disaster. My life has taken a 360 degree turn since the incident and it's still spinning. I'm a shadow of my former self. I used to love to go to parties, but now I've become very introverted and mostly keep to myself. My circle of friends has diminished drastically. For him, the wounds won't begin to heal until those who were in charge of the security, the organizers and the police have been brought to justice. But he says no court decision will be enough to bring back the light at the end of the tunnel.